Okay, Hades Omega here. So, uh, gonna do a little work on the Gallant today. Some uh, some electrical work that I've been uh, trying to get to. Uh, so, uh, so I'm trying to like tidy up the wiring on this car a little bit. Oh, what the hell is this? I've been driving around with this the whole time. Uh, you know what this is? This is a box full of suspension parts for the for the Eclipse. Um, but yeah, I was gonna work on it here at my house, so, um, at my other house, so, uh, yeah, let me get this out of the car first. It's, uh, it's really heavy. It's, uh, basically, what's in this box is, uh, full, uh, full, uh, all the arms for the front of a second gen Eclipse. <laughs> the upper and lower and, uh, all that good stuff, because I, I sh I'm sure one of the ball joints are bad on, I think one of the ball joints are worn out on my uh, on my second gen. This is why my steering wheel shakes. So uh, I said, what the hell? Just replace them all. It's got more than 200,000 plus miles on it. So it's about daggone time I replace them. Anyway, I had just uh, fixed the alternator or more like I just, uh, I just made sure it, uh, I'm still gonna install this thing this filter out of here but yeah so uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm working on today here a little chamois here I've got a da -da, it's a relay okay so the reason I won't change this relay ugh, I gotta clean the back of this car up it's already dirty um, is because is because 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 of the, the relay on this thing I'll show you what it looks like when I get to it it's so the the previous owner hid it under here which I don't like because you need to have tools to take it apart. So if you're ever wondering how to take this little plastic piece out in the back of a Gallant, uh, Mitsubishi cleverly hid the screws under these little panels here. And uh, if you got, I can use my handy dandy this trim removal, removal tool to take it out if it can get in there. Without, that way it won't scratch it up like a screwdriver will. Boom, there it goes, surprise! This one here. So I'll finally get some use out of this tool. They're pretty cheap, they're like six bucks at Harbor Freight. And this is the one that works. Well, it's not quite skinny enough to get in there too well, but it does the job. Okay, so all I have to do is unscrew these guys. Okay, I got my handy dandy screwdriver here. Let's unscrew all these. But yeah, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is install this this little nice little um, relay harness, so it looks uh, more tidy and it's easier to replace. And I'll tell you the reason why. But uh, and I'll tell you how I got that. That should be it comes right off. Whammo, kablammo. And then there's the relay. So take the relay out. Okay. Continue taking these little pins off here. Ugh, oh, what pin is. Okay, this is a different pin. This one goes inward. Oh, it goes outward. Oh jeez. How am I supposed to get that up? That's a good question. Anyway. Anyway, I think enough of it is out where I can work on it. Well, I kinda wanna take this one out too. Hold on. Ah, ha, ha, I had so much problem with this one. I went and got a razor blade and a screwdriver, tried to pry it up, but uh, it's actually, it's one of those ones that goes down instead. I don't know why this car has different, uh, different thingies. There's another one hiding right here. Okay, that actually makes it a lot easier. <laughs> okay, so. That's a good chunk of stuff out of there. Alright, so there is the um, previous owner's handiwork. Not bad. They, uh, this is what they call a fuel pump rewire. And uh, I'm just not happy with uh, this here. So I'm going to replace it with this. So 
So the bad thing about this is, uh, of what we got right here, is um, the wires, you can get the wires wrong. If you didn't know, if you didn't know by heart, like, what connector to put where, then, uh, then yeah, you'll be left scratching your head if uh, this ever goes bad. And I have seen these fail. I've seen them fail or the wiring come loose. Um, that's not going to happen with this guy here. So, um... Yeah, but this one looks up. Whoever, um, the guy that did this did a pretty good job, but I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make it even better. I'm gonna use this, so it's got a nice little plug. So it's got a, a nice little plug here, so you don't have to worry about, like, plugging the relay in wrong, because, uh, there's only one way to plug it in. Um, looks like there's two on this one. Oh, there's a green one and a yellow one. I mean, a blue one and a yellow one. I only need one of these. I'll wire it however it was here. Um, yeah. I much prefer these ones better. So, that's that's what my task is today. And you know, I really hate doing wiring work, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it done. Also, if you're if you're wondering where I got this, I got, uh, if you go on um, if you go on Amazon, you you can find these. Um, just put put in like relay connector, relay harness. They sell a bunch of different kinds. I think I bought this in maybe like a, a twenty pack or something maybe. And uh, I still have a bunch of them lying around. And they come with the they come with the relays also. So that's good. Good relays. So so yeah, I'll just be installing that. So basically, all I'm gonna do is lop off all these connectors, and then I'm just gonna solder it onto this. And in there, I think what I want to do is, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. so how this was zip tied like that before there, I think I just want to leave it hanging out a little bit, like right here or something, so, uh, so I have access to it, you know, um, okay, it's one of those things that might fail, you know, um, but anyway, so uh, this is, a uh, this is kind of like how it's going to look like when it's in there, all I have to do is, uh, I don't have to do any fancy stuff, I just have to make sure I... I install it the same way uh, the other one is, so if I take one out at a time and I work on it, um, it should be no problem. Uh, it seems like this, uh, whatever it is, the ground is, is a little too short, so that's a good thing. So I'm just going to lop it off right here, and then uh, I'll extend it right here, so so then we'll have a little more room with that. So uh, hop to it. I've also made sure that uh, you know the numbers match up, because sometimes the uh, they may uh, put these tab in different places, but uh, for the most part it was the same. I checked this one is at 86 and this one is 86, so good to go. Alright, so I've gone ahead and made my first uh, solder connection. And I got my uh, little uh, heat shrink tube here. Alright, first one done. There it is. I think I should have used the white shrink wrap. I actually did have white shrink wrap, that gummit. It's okay, the wire is black anyways, so. Alright, so next one, uh probably do um probably do the other ground, yeah. Okay. Alright, second wire done. It's the black one on the other side. I just have to put the shrink tubing over it now. Probably disconnect this uh, relay now. So I got uh, two more to go, and they're the hot ones. And because they're hot, I think I'm gonna go take out the fuel pump relay, um, the fuel pump uh, uh, fuse. Okay. So some, an, uh, an interesting thing I've noticed is I pulled the re um, the fuse out for that um, fuel pump relay, and it's a 20 amp fuse. Let's see there. 20 amp fuse. However, when I go here and check the relay for the um, the, uh, the fuel pump relay, it's good for 
40 or even 30 amps and this one says 30 amps right there see so uh, I don't know I don't know I, I'm say I'd say uh, you could probably put a 30 amp fuse in there this wire is really thick look at it this they didn't joke around with the wire on this thing it's a it's a fucking the solid braided wire so it's really hard to work with so anyway supposedly there's no power hopefully I just have to be careful all right okay got the fourth wire done it was a kind of a pain in the ass okay so what I'm having to do with these thick wires is I'm cutting the I'm cutting them in half when I when I uh, soldered them together so uh, so it uh, um, so it doesn't become all big big and fat you know but, uh, so far that's four out of five all right so we got all these wires coming in at, from different directions and stuff so what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna just solder it together like this and then I'm gonna put a cover over it uh, shrink wrap cover over it that way uh, it doesn't have to bend like this one here and plus uh this one will not bend because this is how thick it is this one is a lot thinner so so yep gonna try that out all right so as a little extra precaution I'm gonna add some of this uh, liquid electrical tape here I think it's still too hot hopefully not burning it or I could just put electrical tape over it and then put the shrink tube me Oh, too much. Oh, no. I got it all over the carpet. Great. Well, I'm just going to have to get a napkin and wipe that up. Good job, dum dum head. Alright. Okay. Time to test it. Got them all in there. Looks pretty good. The little blue wire still sticking out. I'm thinking I might be able to use this for something. Um... I'm gonna plan. I'm planning to put a uh, like a subwoofer in the back, so that might work. But that would mean I would have to bring the power back there. Uh, anyway, let's put the fuse back in. Right now, over here. Okay. Cover that up later. And uh, if the car starts, uh, it worked. <laughs> if not, uh oh. Hey, it starts. Let's see if it continues to run for like a minute or so. It's good. All right, so there you go. So all I have to do is just kind of tidy this up, and then uh, I'll be done. I, I made a big mess here. With all this, so I hate doing all this wiring. Hey, car runs. So uh, I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna see if this works. Uh, this is a different relay. This relay has an extra, has an 87 alpha terminal. So I'm assuming uh, that's like another, another terminal. Um, that you could hook, hook stuff up to, so uh, I'm thinking of maybe uh, hooking up my uh, hooking up a reverse camera to it, or maybe a, um, a subwoofer. But uh, for now, we'll just leave it like this, and we will just put some. Uh, actually, I'll probably just use this relay, the one that doesn't have the double terminals, so that so I know that's not hot. But I'll get a, a multimeter or something and test and see if there's power. Alrighty, but there it goes. I'll, I'll give you a. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all buttoned up. Shouldn't be anything there, right? <laughs> all right I'm gonna out. research on what the 87 Alpha terminal does. Is um, is uh, it's hot when the when there's no power going to the relay or something. But uh, but uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. It didn't work. But anyway, I wound up taking it off. I'm not really sure how it works, but uh. Yeah, like I said, I wound up taking it off. Um, all I had to do was get uh, the probe here, stick it in here on the top, and then just pull it right off. And it came off. I didn't even have to cut it. I was going to cut it, and I was like, eh, there's going to be some stuff hanging around there, but uh, 
you can just use a, a probe to, to push it out. Because there's a little tab here that holds it in. All you have to do is, is um, press that with something and it comes right out. It's a cool deal, there it is, so time to button it up. Alright, so I kind of noticed like some rust spots here, I don't know why. It's like from like a spot weld or something. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I go ahead. I went ahead and uh, scraped it with the uh, the wire brush and I'm just going to put some of this undercoat and stuff on it. Should keep it from rusting again. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned that up. I sprayed a decent amount in there. Okay, so uh, it looks like uh, I'm just going to go put the relay right here. There's a little like a uh, kind of like a little hole here. It really fits perfectly in there. So um, it kind of defeated the purpose of me uh, putting it, uh, flipping it around like that. Because now this one is now this one is curving. But, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's gonna be all hidden with this, anyways. And uh, anyway, and it's a lot easier to replace the relay now. You don't have to. You can just pull it out in one one pull. So I went and just uh, put the stock relay, the, the relay that was in here already. And I'll just keep this one as an extra just in case. Keep it on the car somewhere. So there it is. I'm not even going to zip tie it in there. I'm just going to stick it in that little hole and put the panel back on. And you won't even know it's there. It'll be like magic. Alright. And so I, I just, for future reference, I just got to remember it's in there. And I got to take this off to get to it. So show you what it looks like when it's back together. Alright, well there it is. You can't even tell uh, it's there, but uh, I, get, I get peace of mind that like I can uh, I can change the relay out pretty easily now, and that the wiring is better now. Hopefully. Um, actually, there was one... There was the ground there I kind of wanted to do. Anyway, look at all this mess it made. Yuck. Just for just, just a simple job like that. That much mess. Alright, hey, well, there you go. Easing me out.